So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Darren's African Experiences and our experience today is going to be the house you see behind me. It is a three bedroom house. It is fully self-contained. It has uh, two bedrooms, one living room. Sorry. <laughs> it has three bedrooms and these include one master bedroom and two small bedrooms with a living room, a kitchen, two toilets, and a store. All right? Uh, I know we were supposed to go to the two-bedroom house. I have content on the two-bedroom house, but it's incomplete. And uh, I'm supposed to have shot more on that today, but the lady is having issues with the land. The house I was using to shoot, so she's having a land uh, struggle. Yes. Now, the issue she has is very simple. When her people are building the house, and I remember mentioning it to them, you don't build your house on the demarcations of the land itself. Leave at least one foot outside your house to avoid certain things. For starters, it creates space for you where you're going to work from when you're plastering, when you're painting. Because oftentimes, if you don't leave that one foot or two feet outside your land, these people won't be too kind to let you step in their land, work from there. Some might, but not all of them. And because you don't know who people are, often leave the one foot outside your house. Especially if you're, you're what? You're building a... <clears throat> on a very small piece of land eh? and she had to leave that behind so now it is one of two options she either has to pay for one extra foot <laughs> to be added to her land or she has to break part of the house and then rebuild it which is going to be inconsistent considering the house is already almost reaching the beam level anyway Unless these people are kind enough to let her settle it on their own, but you know our people, they are not always too kind when it comes to land issues. Someone asked me why I'm not involving myself with land. I will involve myself. But land in Uganda has so many struggles. If I'm to get involved in land, it will have to be strictly titled land. I will not be doing Kabaka land. Yes, there are many issues with that type of land. Even titled land has issues, Kati. Now imagine. All right, the other thing I want you to... I'm going to do the two-bedroom house. Trust me, I have so much content. Information is here. It's not going anywhere. Now, uh, the other thing you should know, if you look at this piece of land, this is an acre. The whole land is an acre and a half because the land is big. So this person had no problem building their house. But you... If you have your land, please to build a house this big, make sure you don't have land that's smaller than 50 by 50. Please. It's imperative that you only and only consider that. Otherwise, you're going to fix a three-bedroom house on a small piece of land and it's going to affect you. Somehow, you're going to find yourself having very, very tiny rooms. Yet, if you're going to build a three-bedroom house, make sure it's spacious enough. Like... It's enough space. Other thing, uh, what else should I talk about? The information that I give you is applicable to most of Uganda. Yes. I know people will tell you if you're not in this place, it won't be. It is applicable. This is Uganda. Except if you are in the city. Any city, really. But especially Kampala. In Kampala, the price goes a little bit up. And if the price is going a little bit up for you and you're not in Kampala, they are robbing you. And that's the plain truth. Me as Doreen, I have a constructions company, but I'm not looking for jobs. Not yet. I will launch that constructions company many years from now, officially. I already launched it, it's registered, but I have a lot of work to do. I have a lot of things to do first before I get into that. So I figured instead of waiting to be documenting my own jobs, why don't I? just give you the information because part of construction is planning before you start planning or start building please plan you can take years i know people who have 
had plans for years and they've never acted on them. The other thing, the money I'm going to tell you in this video does not include a house plan. If you're going to build a three bedroom house, please make a house plan. Make a house plan. Because it's big enough for the council to come and harass you. I'm serious. You might think you're deep in the village, but believe me, when, the, <laughs> when it comes to the council, you're not too far. They will come and harass you to pay taxes for that house. So please, endeavor to draw a house plan, take it to the council, to the land board, have it verified, have it approved, then build. And house plans for this, they're not expensive. You shouldn't spend more than two million. Everything inclusive, from drawing to approving to bribes, beyond now, shouldn't cost you more than two million, all right? And these are things people are not telling you, but you need to know. Don't just build, please don't just build. You can just build one single room, double room, if it's one, but if you're going to do multiple of them, also look for plan. You people, the moment you start building anything that looks like you have money, people are going to come after you, and that's life. It's reality of life. I don't want to talk too much, I just want to give you points. Now, uh, this particular house is within Mukono, which means the prices are for everyone. Mukono is very big. You can go all the way. I'm telling you, as long as you're in Uganda and you are building with these things, the prices are similar. I'm also going to tackle the concrete blocks, 9-9. Nine, nine, eh? I'm going to, to talk about them in this video. I'm also going to tell you how many you need to also build this house. Even with the two-bedroom house, I'll also tell you. I'm also going to include like a short video of my... It's not mine. Leave it at that. Of a concrete hollow block house. All right? Similar. So that I show you different things, how things work. Plan, plan, plan. Don't just build. And if you're building a house to sleep in, make sure you have money. Because no one should be building a house to sleep in when you're hustling. No offense. You shouldn't hustle to build a house this big to sleep in it. Unless you have sources of income. Because this money that's building this house is enough to give you a very stable business in this economy of Uganda. So do that and then get your precedes of our Muzita profits from that business and build. All right? Don't be lo getting loans to build a house to sleep in. Get loans to build financial houses. Enjoy the video, guys. Please. This is our house for today. I'm going to give you a tour. I'm going show you. It's a three-bedroom house, as you can see. The house was built with soil bricks through and through. Yeah? But the house is beautiful. I tell you, I'm going to tell so uh yeah let's go in yeah? all right so in. now we begin uh basically i'm going to start with giving you material you know <clears throat> i'm going to start with uh soil bricks and clay bricks and then i'll explain for you the concrete blocks <laughs> the concrete blocks we call them blocks because they are big we don't call them bricks eh? All right, now to the measurements for this house, uh, it is about uh, the house is 15.50 meters wide. Yeah, it is 15.50 meters wide. Then more sides, eh? this is length, then the width. Eh? The width is 10.21 meters, all right? Katinze, I'm not going to give you demarcations of inside. The reason being, once you have the outside measurements, the rest is up to you. For you, you might be wanting bedrooms that are three meters, someone wants four meters, someone wants this. So, test and preference is really up to you. But if you know the, the, the measurements of the outside, that's everything you need. And that's enough to give you math. Because construction is math. I know you don't want to hear math. <laughs> I have nothing I can do about that. Eh? But let's bear with me. Because we need the math. I use math to get you these numbers. And calculations are everything. So, house plan is really your choice. 
But now we are inside. We'll start with a small tour. All right. This is a kitchen. This is the back of the house, by the way. So this is a kitchen. This is part of the living room. It's big. And that is the dining. Jidaba. Or you can say that's the living room and the dining is somewhere this side near the kitchen. It's really up to you. This house is big. And then we proceed to the master bedroom. Although the corridor is a little bit dark, uh, no electricity yet. So this is the master bedroom. That is the closet space for this person and this is their bathroom. Bathroom is big enough, so I think that's good. And then this is the master bedroom, all right? The house has been plastered already. I want to be documenting from inside because it's dark. Eh? I just wanted to give you a quick tour, but then we go outside, all right? And then when you come through here, you go to the small bedrooms. Eh? This is the first bedroom. It also has closet space, eh? a closet space car. And then you move out, you go to the shared bathroom. There is a bat in this house. Omanye bat, a car window there and then there is the second bedroom here those are more avenger all right where to know lead them but the bedrooms there to know lead them all right now we go out and film because inside december see that but how am we move on move on all all right so we go and i explain where there is light i need light i can't see Okay, for starters, we are going to start with the number of bricks you need to build this house. If you're going to use soil bricks or clay bricks, they're usually the same size. Eh? So we basically just uh, give you the number and then for you, you choose whether you're going to use soil or clay. So I know this particular house can get... You can use at least 19,000 bricks. But for me, I'm going to say 20,000. Reason being, when you're, when you're trying to buy anything in construction, eh, always try your level best. Yeah? Try your level best to put a little bit of extra in material planning. And make sure that I don't just buy all your material at once. Don't say Doreen told me to get 20,000 bricks or the you was on. No. First, get 10,000 bricks. What's your tunnel? By the way, so when you actually go to buy from someone, Togula Tanulu, don't find Tanulu Ngeriao, Natevanava Jibikula, and for you, you say you want to buy Tanulu. No, tell them to open up all on them. I know 10,000 bricks, Eva Tanulu, a sokewa kokali, ya 5,000, but 10,000. Alright, so please don't buy. I don't know. It's like when you're, when, you, when you're done. After someone burns their bricks, eh? how they look like in that pyramid, eh? we locally call it tanul. So don't buy a tanul eh? over a pyramid of bricks. Always make sure you're selective. Eh? Katono alaika yagula probably tanulu bidi. That's twenty thousand. What you will Or maybe because this person has more houses in the back. I don't know. It's all excavated. It has to be moved. I'm saying you gucha alibo plaster wool and nyanja yidi. So anyway, going forward. Let's give you the material. Eh? So you need 20,000 small bricks, either clay or uh, soil bricks. All right. Now, sometimes I'm a matafali gavate gaide. You see, when people are burning these bricks, eh? half the time you can find that someone has a pyramid of bricks and some are not ready. So you have to be able to tell the difference. I want polida. You, you buy only the ones that are ready. 
All right, so you're buying a uh, clay brick. I'm, I've put it at 200 shillings, but I know you can get it at less. Remember, please stop sending people to get for you this work. Eh? I'm giving you an idea. So you go on ground and find the actual price of these bricks, but do not pay more than 200 shillings for a soil brick. I'm serious. Okay, and whatever money they tell you, as long as it's above 150 shillings a brick, it should include transportation. Toyo yonge da kosente indala. Okay? Then clay bricks are 250 shillings. Na yezo zinzo ko yonge da moko depending on where you are. But you can even get them at 200 and what? And 40 or 30 shillings. Depending on the season, kati nkubange ito nyanyo. But when the weather is moderate, the brick might be a little bit expensive. So, so you get your 200, so your 20,000 bricks and multiply by 200 shillings, you get 4 million. Then, uh, if it's a clay brick at 250 shillings, you multiply by 20,000, you get 5M, over 5 million Ugandan shillings. This money is in Ugandan shillings. Those who want to convert the money, this video is already too long. I cannot convert for you the money. You sit down, the dollar is, I think, at 3,700 3, something. It's almost 3,800 shillings. So you, must, you convert for yourself. Eh? Now, <clears throat> six inch blocks are what I would recommend if you're starting to build. Eh? And please, our <laughs> information is on Jiva if you are going to build with concrete blocks, please endeavor to buy from someone who has a high compressing machine. Those machines that are electric. Do not go buy these hollow blocks over solid blocks from someone who is using a local manual. The, only buy those for your fence. Kubanga, the fence does not have any pressure going to be added to it. Roofing, pressure. That pressure, all of it is seated on the what? On the house. Your house will crack. The level of compression that you are getting from uh, an electric machine is not the same as someone who is what? Who is using a manual machine or a hand machine? You can get those good, they are good manual machines, like the ones I advertised eh, sometime back in one of my videos. But there are manual machines we have locally in Uganda. It's like a uh, local soil bricks, like that. Eh? But these are like welded metallically. Nakakona wants to get compression. They don't use those bricks to build your house. And if someone is making those those bricks using that thing, they should not be putting sand. If you're buying even for your fence, make sure they're just using stone dust and what? And cement. Oh my goodness, this is creepy. Chickens will eat anything. Maybe that's why they are sweet. Anyway, <laughs> I was still telling you. These people who are making uh, these solid blocks, over concrete blocks, with electronic machines, their level, over their range of compression is extremely high. Yeah? It's very high in that you can trust it. And that you can use those blocks to build Bulunji and your house will be perfectly fine. Even if you're building a flat, it's fine. Yes. But make sure those hollow blocks eh, below Tazidi Mubituli. Okuva wansi pakawa guru. If they have one singer te ngamuli mwe bituli wansi pakawa guru. By no isamwe mitaimba. Kati injini awe chavachi manye. I don't know how to teach you these things on camera. There are different types of blocks. In Uganda, we use those hollow blocks. But the right blocks are not supposed to have. The hole is not supposed to... When you put your block down, block stronger. So endeavor to buy that one. Now, let me give you the different prices of those and the different sizes. Go ahead on the record. But if you have money, then you buy the concrete, solid, six-inch block. Solid, ever tell you much tuli. 
nothing whatsoever and these are their prices that they are six inches and eight inches those are what's what's on the market mostly four inches but of course i mean to be dollar don't use your four inch concrete blocks to build banang banang and cocaine it's freaking me out anyway six eight inch solid block their current prices are ranging between 3100 shillings to 3400 shillings and then a six inch solid block the prices right now are ranging between 2,700 to 3,100 shillings. Then 8 inches hollow. Hollow, they're the ones the Zebi Tuli. Their current prices are ranging between 2,200 to 2,500. Then the 6 inches hollow blocks are ranging between 1,900 to 2,200 shillings. All right? Now, my recommendation was the 6-inch concrete block, but this is the price for the hollow block, all right? So you can substitute. Kubanga, the hollow block is cheaper than the solid block. The hollow block uh, price goes up to 2,200. I used 200 shillings. Sorry, I used 2,000 shillings. Reason being, if you're taking this many bricks, they will give you. Anywhere, they will give you. Even probably... At, at 1,900, they'll give you. But for solid blocks of 6 inches, they go up to 3,100, which means the least you can get them are probably 2,900 or 3,000, so it's really up to you. But me, I used the 6-inch hollow concrete block. And then I estimated this house, Kati. There are those who want to use them to build from foundation up to up. They are fine, you can use them. From foundation, Musinji, Ngogajamu Musinji, Pakawagulu. For this type of house, for this size, you're going to need at least 5,000 bricks. Remember, over the circumference, after calculating the circumference of the building, Oinebisenge Mundebioku Dividinga, Nabiobitu Alamata Fali. Are you following me? So, at the end of the day, 5,000 bricks is a guawa. Is it you should always buy 1,000, 1,000. Sorry. You need 5,000 solid bricks. Or rather, blocks, concrete as a 6 inch. You need 5,000. Buy 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. Then, you have to buy 1,000. But, Budget for 5,000 or 4,500 around there. If you're going to build Ngogaja Mumusinji. But if in your foundation, which is the most applicable or most advisable way. In your foundation, try to always put so, sorry, uh, clay bricks in your foundation. Clay bricks, no, well, Zijam foundation. Then Okuva Okwambuka, you use your concrete blocks. All right. Then you need... Uh, at least 8,000 clay bricks. And that is if if you're not on a hill, your foundation is not supposed to be extra ex exaggerated. All right? But if you're on a hill, your bricks increase, by the way. Uh, but the numbers I've given you will still cover that, even if you're on a hill. So you put clay bricks inside the ground and then up uh, in the ground you'd need 8,000 clay bricks and then up you would need 3,500 bricks to get the job done. Sorry, blocks. I hope Now, as for cement, to do the whole job, including uh, concrete on the ground, the beam up. Remember, this house has a beam in the ground, by the way, in a beam. Yeah. But you are your but take a yo lining yemita yimba mochi momo singe but you are yo so please don't skip that part if you're building a three bedroom house this big always try to put that especially if you're on a hilly area number one number two just do it because the math because you're not going to build the house twice by now, you're doing this once. Because this is one of those things. This is a three-bedroom house. You're not doing it again. This is big. All right? So eight or three bags of cement will do. Eight or three bags of cement you can get on wholesale price if you have the money at hand. 
go to a hardware, any hardware, the most they should sell to you is 33,000 shillings, a bag of cement, the most. And that's the math I'm using. But you can even get at 81,000, sorry, at 31,000 shillings. 83 bags would be enough. It is enough. 83 bags are enough. And the current cement price is 33,000 shillings, but you can even get it cheaper. These bags are many. All right, from 50 bags upwards, you can negotiate wholesale prices, by the way, anyway. Okay, now concrete stones. These, what are they called? Aggregate stones, these ones. Now, you need to listen carefully. This is very important. If you're pouring your concrete on the floor, any size you have is good, even these big ones. Now, yeah, if you're going to power your beam up, this is very crucial. Always send your truck guy to buy for you what they call maketu. Maketu are the smallest grain. They're really small and they're solid steel. Mompuli is a solid steel. Gana mainja gali muevika. So, the soli a solid steel truck of elf is going to be enough for you to do your beams. Eh? Once in a while, gulu no kuyuwa no bukolom. Buno bukolom, tewa bute kabago mainja manene. So endeavor or ensure these two things here. Bakola, babute kamu, babute casting, and they are round, and then you can design them anywhere you want after. So, you need an elf truck, at least one. That one will cost you 200,000 shillings. To, now, that one, put it separately, and you know this one is for pouring those columns and then the beam. Alright? Otherwise, because you can pour that thing up and it kicks and it pours out. And then you have to do the job again. And that is money. It's wastage of money. So you need uh, three elf trucks of aggregate stones or concrete stones. Elf of Satubomal. Uh, but one of these two, one of these three should have Meketo. The other two, they can give you whatever they want, as long as it's aggregate stones. But the one of them should be the small ones. The others are 150k a truck. But then this one is going to cost you two, 200,000 shillings a truck. Meketo. All right, and then we come to the total of 500,000 shillings for those concrete stones. We have steel bars. At a steel bars in Tandikirewa. We have Y10 and Y12. Don't just get only Y10 because it's cheaper. No, this is a big house. So get Y12 and Y10. Uh, when you count uh, the beam, because I've been doing a lot of math for this beam, eh? the beam both up and down it might take at least 46 steel bars at most 46 because remember by nanoji wamunda okwa ulam so 46 steel bars will go and then these book columns here will take about 14 steel bars or even slightly less so you count 14 now, Y12 current price is 43,000 shillings. You get 43,000 shillings and multiply it by 46. You're going to get 1,978,000 shillings. And then Y10 current price is 33. You get 33 multiplied by 14 and you get 462,000 shillings. Then you need Shirund, Timber, Mbao. Now, Mbao is all, they have many uses. Wherever you are, Bimbagulu, Vazetaga. Wherever you are, Wansi, Vazetaga. Avalinyakoku Zimbabwe zeta aga zitambuli dawamu ne eucalyptus they go hand in hand so those ones for timber alone you need at least thirty to thirty three pieces we can take that but remember these are reusable so keep them to avoid constant purchasing all right. Now, you, they, they, they'll cost you not more than 9,000 shillings, but even at 8,000 shillings you can get, but I've taken 9,000 shillings to be on a safe side, all right? So you do your 30, 30 times 9,000 shillings, you get 270,000 shillings. You need bottom. Those bottoms, 
bwebo ebutyo bambu kunyonyole ncha they are like bu bubawo babo buba mu halves they get bafu nembawo ne babu sala sala ko buba bwala isi even at 5000 shillings it's a lot they might even give you at 4000 even at 3500 in zimbabwe lida they can give you so you need about 32 of those and I've taken 5,000 shillings to be on a safe side. So that is 160,000 times what? You get 5,000 shillings times 32. Ah, but I, the math today has not been mathing. My head is killing me. Okay, you move on to eucalyptus. You need about 40 pieces. Even 35 can do. But just budget for 40. Eucalyptus has a lot of use. And the nyumba nene, they have to map it. By no kujituza. By no kuteka ano muti, wali omuti, wali omuti. Buli awali echisenge. Buli insonda waji teka muomuti kuplani. Off the plan. Oluma yane baisa mugozi. Obechi gogwa. Kachebi gogwa na vio na vio andise wano. You need about... Biyaba devi satu bina. Kubanga juki da biba genda bage na viko so sive mitiejo. Nabita dewa. Building thread. Weta gayo visatu. So we have a lot of zemiti buli insonda yenyu. Mbajuki that these houses are all sided. Buli insonda yenyu wabajisa kwa mti. The way it is on the house plan. Wamba sume senti okusoma plani. Then neva isamu. Echigogwa. Echibaito kutuze nyumba. Neva chigisamu side by side by side by side. Paka nyumba wekolachi. Wegwa mwana nafuna level, they get levels eh? as a square. Bichibichi nebata niko kufuna ango ye nyumba. Shwa ito kukwata ango over level ye nyumba. Baji kwa atira o. Eda engineer o kusaiti. Obo mwana inanga manyo chikola kastawa anga senior meso na wasinga baba wamanyi. Bwa malo kukwa atira level ye nyumba. Aunali oka kugama tisima wano, sima wano, sima wali, auto sima o, wano mtekeo stepu. Like that, all those things are. <laughs> all those things are included on the what? On the house plan, all right? Kati, we've talked about the building thread. You need sand. You need sand. Right? I'm not going to go further by saying buy this sand, buy that sand, buy whatever sand you want, as long as it is like sand. But my recommendation would be radar. All right? Radar, you need two, two box bodies. Boabato innocent is a two box bodies. Then you need four forward trucks. At the end of the day, begin to go to box body. Have you ever heard of that word in construction? It is a, the trucks are not uh, bought like that. They buy a forward truck. If you go to one of my videos, current prices of Lake Sand. Forward truck is a box body. Right now, a year later, get you there. A full one. Babu Lida. Kubanga, they can give you a forward truck and gavaji juza bujuza. Na ya box body, kawanga ka box, kawaka ka box, elana wobochi dava and tichanja ulo. Baka zimba. It's price. All right, forward yet then go over. A box body. Current price of sand is 600,000 shillings. You can negotiate to maybe 550, but if you're getting rail, 600,000 shillings. Na ye guba monji. Guba monji. Guba gukumala. Bumotu kabubiri bukolachi. Buzi mbe nyumbe no negwa negufika nao. Uche ulira. But if you know where you are, they don't have that truck. Because not everyone has it. It's quite costly to build it. Then, set of four. Four forward trucks. Forward truck ya reila. Tegenda kusuka mitu ala satu mbavu ulira. And this is the truth. Because I really went to the source for that price. And I even made videos on that. It is 300,000 shillings forward. Get you the blunt for regular sand. You go meet like sand regular. The white sand is 300,000 shillings. Now, <clears throat> for plaster sand, you need three. Actually, there are three forward trucks. 
and those are going to cost you 280,000 shillings. Only Learn to negotiate, learn to do research. Don't just watch Doreen alone. Go watch other people. Also, physically go on ground. Stop also watching people too much. When you watch us, we give you an idea, but go on ground. You might be the younger Joveda, plus the Alikumituala Vidi, forward. And now, when you go to ask for a price, never say what you know. Always ask someone how much is a forward truck. Yakubuli, the Mugambo, Limba. Ochibuli dan zemkwanu ganga ya kamalo kuzimberi wa gulunga wa mwade kuzino. Ajoto yoge la zemkugambi ya kako wa ansi. And then after that, ononye wa mkubida. Kwa na yaba ononye wa kubida. Because they are getting this sun cheaply. Ochibuli da kubanga sino truck uwe guleta. Habo teba genda kunyanja kugudja. Sino truck uwe guleta. Sino truck uwe yala isi nge guja uwe guba suvuze. Anyway. Ah. So you need three forward trucks of plaster sand, four forward trucks of what? Like sand. If you don't have uh, forward trucks where you want, you, uh, sorry, if you, if you have forward trucks and you also have box bodies, get two box bodies. They'll still come to the same total, by the way. Same total of money. Okay. Building thread, we've talked about it. Eucalyptus, we've talked about it. Plain sheets. What I got just one roll. Right now, I just asked my friend, even just less than 10 minutes ago, and these people run big hardware as a Gambia. Uh, plain, plain sheet, eh? one roll. Eh? If, uh, if 32 gauges, its current price is 75,000 shillings. Cut a plain sheet, this is what they use it for. They use it for a lot of things, but you see these both things here. The like plain sheet, it's like uh, an iron sheet, Nenga. it's softer. Because they actually use them to mold iron sheets. Baka baka kola ko sanko eh ne baka yuwa mwen kokoto ne kakola kano kati this thing doesn't come like this but nabana badja ne babi designing away but wakola finishing kati wo plain sheet gwe mlimu gwabo bukola bukola obo obuntu we butyo obo eh tobula wanga ko obo maso genyimbo bwa sako sako eh you can use casting what if you don't if you if you have money to rent uh, casting bichi what are they called castings bichi they are castings they make. If you're making big ones, eh? plain sheet a better jacu colida. Then go and rent that. I think those ones of a guy, a Mpaku maker. Because it's somewhere in Mukono town, there are a little guy. Happy Pangi, sir. I'll find out. I know. Chica. Anyway, a roll of plain sheet is 75,000 shillings and it's 32 gauges. Then DPC. 1,000 gauges. You need the you need a roll of 1,000 gauges. 15 kilograms is 75,000 shillings, and then 50 kilograms is 225,000 shillings. So it's really up to you, but you can buy the what? The 15 kilograms first. DPC Chechivelacha block. They use it for a lot of things. Ogula roll. I don't advise people to buy meters. My kilometer. When it comes to things like that, or Zimbabwean name Ogula meter biach. Gula roll. When they are putting your bricks, they need it. When you're pouring concrete, you need it. Chija kufika wo, chukwazi sene kuboyzi kuoto, chukwazi sene ku septiki. Ochitege, la chine mili muminji. Kachogena gula mita, mita paka, diyoluna vaongo, lawa te transport ya genze mumunji. Gula lumu chirolu wa chilete wa mchibereo. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay. All right, you need uh, ring wires. You need uh, ring wires. Usually we use R6. You need 18 pieces. Each each ring is 7,000 shillings right now. Uh, R6, 7,000 shillings. So you get 7,000 and multiply it by 18. Then you need uh, binding wires. Uh, you need hoop irons. Hoop irons. Please don't build without hoop irons. Eh? Locally, I'm such a gampire, and they try a pioneer. That's those are the call hope irons. Eh? They are very crucial. Now, what about as you could say, you go mugam because I'm going as the causes because you're building your house. They're not building their house, they're building for you. Many of you know, or many watch to avoid. Okay, going forward, you need nails, you need three kilograms of each of these, except for four inches and five inches, you need four kilograms. 
a kilogram of all these nails just budget it at 5,000 shillings. You need uh, two inches, one and a half inches, three inches, four inches, five inches, six inches. Again, I'm going to go to the house. At this stage, so am going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. to I mean, But just in case, buy them and keep them safely. Okay. To dawa, excavation and backfeeding. Previously, I've not been telling you to put aside money for excavating and backfeeding. Excavating is oxymum sinji. Backfeeding is okuze taka munyumbanga. Tebanali kuona. Okuyiwa mwen kokoto. Yes. Excavating from Sinjogu. Aba na wabeni ni abazim baba sabalo gusima. All right, but you have to be smart. Contract them. Toba sasula lunako. But ya kusima wano ne wali lunako lugwe. Ne nke era ba deva malai na kusatunga valioko. So contract them. Ene nyumba from Sinjogu baba sabalo gusimi da muna kubidi. Ne gugwa bulunji gona ngamuli mune steps buli chim. Two days are enough. All right. So contract them. Specifically to excavate on Pulida. Then, Tandi Kokole Mikwano Kuchalo. Olida. Eh, Kole Mikwano. Look at look for those drunkards of the village. Badia Kwa Mukwano, Badia Kula Gavan Nabo, Funawa Nawakola, Manuele Bakuchalo. Back feeding this house. Tachina Kumen, and your reason being, and you by Baba Bajisimo Musinj, Bacola Bukubo, Tevaja Mutakal, your number, Munda Bacole, Chinya, no. Chitagas, and some of the soil already remains behind. To backfill is to really get the little cell that was excavated to put it back in the hole to fill up. It should not cost you that much. Oh, go better. Kati, backfeeding, Banobabenga Bazim. Gagwafuna yava na wakolachi, abaza mwetaka, to limit time wastage. Neo o nava gamba mbo, molekela waka titumazo zimbo msinji, tuchuwe mwolu naku, tudenke la tude, tuze mwetaka, mwokama wango genda kusula au kusaiti. Gwe wagambe mwe mzimbe, temufa ayo. Habana mwakole la makuwa wewa ise taka, bano badja kuli yuwamu. After that, hey, haya kaka machine yako, Akakoneta, please, before you pour concrete in your house, make sure it's a cavalry cone balloon, you never you are mazzy, never cool again to did it fully compressed. Otherwise, the new Bejaku Guams and Babu leader. Balekeva call it a new Bakakuma Kakona, that machine that uh, is supposed to compress your soil should not come when the walls are wet. Okay? You saw on that we came over be after construction. Eh, Gabama Zeno one sin at Dala, eh? Kuanga Vaso Locus in Boko Vansi Mosin, Jinevama, Nevambo, and Vatuka Kati, Nevama, Nevama Lai. So make sure Aunt Sengoches in Boko Jans Pakawa Kati. Chis Eco Week. Gamachine Tenaj. Babu leader, Chisimbe Chijava Guida. Those machines are so strong in that they shake the ground so hard the house can collapse. And you have a much of an animal, it is Angazemo and Jatka. Anyway, let's go for Banang and Dimidachkova, Satukat, Satum Musam. Oh. Anyway, so 500,000 shillings is Seko Bali. Zijakuyamba. Remember, Zentaka miscellaneous money, and I'm going to give you reasons why I'm putting that miscellaneous money. And I, I will give you reasons why it's not the usual man I've been telling you. Mujakuneva, Zanga Mumazokula, Mugasogua, Gwachin to Chamba Nyola. Okay? But I, Mulawa Bulango, my videos and watch the ads. It's only why I get paid. By the way, and take up sent a ninja, you know. <laughs> Information is here, like I said. Anyway, transport for material. Kati material ones like transport in Kwade Mitola, Vidi, Mani Rach. Bobo Genda Kuzimba. Even to every single year, to get the COVID prices up, you see, Janet transport watch. The only things you're going to transport on your own are things like cement, steel bars, which is which. Bobo money, gato inas go ina storage. Yeah, if you have storage. Funa, even to every. Oh, we just have mulundi go. We get an elf truck. We'll get our cars to board and we'll start leaving to every Jivana when we swaza.
Oli no busa oba cement makumi ya tano ya ya galaba na baboda biba busomba really wa boda gena slope sawo meka get an elf truck funo wa elf omugambe kwena hadi ya tugenda kuja ochi no ne hadi ya tugenda kuja ochi no ne tugenda kuja ochi chino bigenda kola lero omanyenti abana bo luna kubazi mbo busa wo meka musanvu if your your men can build seven bags of cement a day, actually they should be able to build five to six bags, even seven, a day. Jaya obusa wo obu teke ku erif. Badja kuga manti encha, every end of day ask them encha mugenda college. Badja kuga manti madamu encha chowa sebo encha tugenda yuwa bim. Oba tugenda yuwa nko koto. Oba vuze muetaga chencha. Bambi learn to pre-plan. Toli nda luna kukucha, otandiko kukangana. Habana wasa vya cement, toli ina cent. Bagambi, they all before the day. Because badja kuingi, that they will come to work. For them, they won't care. Obo lese cement, obate lese, they want money for the day. Vazo kola. Oche ulida. Oguleo kone kumatundu bali. Nkuba wejo vengo ino sobolo vikevi nchu. Semit ya leme kutoba. Eh? Banange, what to have only that shabby now? Band of come when you're I don't know. Yeah, don't take things personally, just try to get the point where I'm coming from with this information. Kuanga Bana, you will go through stuff when you build for people, you can go through things now in a way. Wunya, where Wunya, no, what you will now before we waste more time. Eh? Kati elf guy, your elf truck guy, yo yo. Bela ne guy wo ngaba bidi. Wo mukubira buku zinga magenda ko hadi waya yeri ne yeri ne yero je chino na chi. Na chino. Baba batere okuba amune sente. Mugambe sasula sente zo genda zisanga. Oba sicho you tell the hardware guys, balete bintu. Kubaka chi guy a ja touch me sente atadde yo. Balete bintu guy a zitwale yo ngadda yo. Build trust. All right? But don't just trust anyone. But learn to build trust. It will save you money. Oja gendo wa boda kaka dabu kade uvidi abuke na abu. Ama na babu kana mituala abidi. Amu ya nanga manye mga jawa. Anyway. But going forward. Your truck guy or your elf. So wala kuleta seminti. Omulondi gumu. Nga kuliko ne mita imba. Nga kuliko nobulu wa mtu mtu obulala. And they bring them at once. Na kuja ke mituale chine ne nye no veta. Na yeche li waboda agenda kule itamita imba. Adea le ite miti. Adea le ite chi. Elo jaku kakana transport yoli mumitu walo nga nsambu. Wona malida kwa kuzimba. Eh? Na yeche jaku lawa nga owa elefu. Eh? Wabaya wada chukwa saganya. Uba na nko laga na mga mbaale elo ninebili. Encha ninesatu. Especially if the distance is what? It's not long. Eh? Aja kuziria. Ate baba na wana kutrakso kwa haba kutikide yo jebava. Wano kusaiti ya banabo nebati kula. Cement tomu tipi inga. Offload cement. Don't tip your cement. Wakuja kongo ine tumu yomu senyu there. Then you can tip your cement onto the what? Onto the, the sand. Eh? But also make sure the sand is dry. Cement ajaku, ajaku gida atobe. Atandiko kwa atangatemunaba na muzi imbisa. Who are you going to blame? <sighs> Banai. Information in Yinji. You need tools, wheelbarrows, you need three spades, you need two holes, you need four pick axes, you need six jerry cans. Evidomola. Ateto gula bi pia. No nya ebi ebi vudemu buto. Ebi vudemu oi do bi chibi chi ebi ebi wabi alais. Use those. Babi salem. Baba zimbi badja kumanye chokola. You need two drums. Eh, drums zija kumala. Bidi. Zibere mwa mazinga teri aga kuata ko. Ochewolida. You need two hammers. You need spirit levels, water level. Kati ya water level, mwana ya kugamba mita za yetaga. Mita buwa laisi bulinga mungu misatu. Na bagamba, bobo genda kuzimba. The area wa nchua wapangi sevi nitu binonga. Teweta gana chigula. When you go to a place before you engage into construction, do research. Buza kuchaloku no kulika ina kuwirubalo. Ochitegeira. Then, from there, Gendo mugambe ntipa nae. Saba kumpa kuidubalo yonge na kusasulangabuli. Na kupaka ituna malo kuzimba. The price you will pay shouldn't cost you more than 5,000 shillings. Zero jakula wanga. It's cheaper than buying a wheelbarrow. Kwa kati oli kuzimbe nyombe ya mo. Wheelbarrow jugulo. Lumalo gena juko zisaji. 
ogule nsululu zaachi ugenda ku maloximum sinji tezina chile chizigenda kola ochitegera anyway ebebyo nabyo nabyo na wamu bigira ku malira ke mitwalo 263000 shillings ne obo saze okugula will bury era zijja kuba sentezo but kupanga site to be less then this is labor costs labor costs see as labor costs you need three masons and four laborers masons bebo abafundi senior masons uliriza you need senior masons tofu na muzimbi ya iya tofu na muzimbi atandika for no muzimbi ali experience era endeavor to always ask these builders walio zimbi eko wa ndaga ku bizimbe bye walio zimbi eko and they can testify yo so ko bidabe ko katonda muleta wo stop these things of recommending oh no na ya zimba bulunji kale mumpe are they rich than they are learning on the job ne bakuzimbire bisenge bichamye and we have nothing against them. I'm just telling you. I want to be an engineer. Your title is losing a meaning. I'm such a child. I'm an engineer. And you also think this person is an engineer. And that's the person you're bringing to build for you. Why must you go through this? Why must you go through this? Why Why must you go through this? People should show you their previous work first before you hire them. Now, these people, if they are senior masons, you're going to pay them 30,000 shillings a day. Okay? And your laborers are going to be paid 20,000 shillings a day. This is a heavy job. And this is a full-time job. So, when Bamba sent this job, in my own experience, just to build, it should take you two weeks to finish this thing. Two weeks. Kuwanga have built houses bigger than that in two weeks. Oh, and the bank was have a Zimbabwean. Now, if you're going to use three mason for the barrels, we'll use Zimbi no more portal way. Then we have the one portal on the side whose job is specific. Kutabula, nga echitabula techi guawo. That person should be there. Nga a station here. Katiba no bo ni ni badja kwe ronda mu steel bender. Because the steel has to be cut. It's going to waste time. Always take the, your, your steel. Even binding wire. You can use it as a machine. You can use it as a machine. You can use it as a machine. Grind it as a machine. Alright? Kakati. Checho. Labor should, all together, labor should cost you 2,380,000 Ugandan shillings. Alright? That's labor. How? The Masons are taking 30,000, 30,000 times 14, those are two weeks. The, you get 420,000 each person and you have three Masons. So you do 420,000 shillings times three, you get 1,260,000 shillings. Then laborers are getting 20,000 shillings each times 14, each person is getting 280,000 shillings. 280,000 shillings times four, you get 1,120,000 shillings. Altogether, if you combine 1.2, sorry, 1.12 and then... 1.260, you get 2,380,000 shillings. Put aside 1 million for miscellaneous. Ebi guwa bitala zenze, kwa mecheka waka kade. Kako. E nyumba hiyo. Katekeo. Gwebe la nako kuchido. Be with that money. It will come in handy. Ezo sente, nyumba jo zimba siya la isi. 1 million is your money. What you're doing is for you. Put aside 1 million shillings to help you with ebi guwa bitala zenze. Abana wajja kuleka seminti munkuba. Obusa obutanu botobe. Abana wajja kutabule vitali yyo ama inja gata male. Uchihulida. Measurements for my construction have used one bag to four wheel barrels of what? Of sand. One bag of cement to four wheel barrels. Those are the measurements I've used. Enyumba wana enene monsasi robude tutebo onji. Kati totos are here. If you are building with soil bricks, this is your total. Bulichimu, 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 bulichimu. Your total is going to be 17,375,000 shillings. Soil bricks, gigamatafali getaka. Enyumba kujitu saku bimu, it will cost you 17,375,000 shillings. Obukade kumi na msamvu, wemi tuwala satu mumu samvu, nechitundu.
Then if you're building with clay bricks, Amatafali get bomba. Your total is going to be eighteen million three hundred and seventy-five thousand Ugandan shillings. Then if you're building with six inch hollow concrete blocks, Okuva Mumusinji Paka Kubimu, Chonokugwa, your total is twenty-three million three hundred and seventy-five thousand shillings. Obuka Davidi Mobusatu Mwemi Twalo Asatu Mumusanvu Nechtundu. If you're using six inch concrete hollow blocks from foundation to finishing over to beam level. Shulida, Mwachamunkanga. Then if you are building with clay in the foundation and then the rest of the house is concrete hollow blocks. Ompulida, your total is going to be twenty two million three hundred and seventy-five thousand shillings. Mobu Vidi, Mami Twala Satumu Savanechund. Nababuli de how we came to that. Of course, there's are 8,000 clay bricks in the foundation and then 3,500 concrete blocks. Waguru. Ochtegede. Behavior. Guys, thanks for watching the Rains African Experiences. I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Those who are new, subscribe, please, and like. Don't forget to watch the ads. Now